Okay, let's check audio. Let's check, let's check. Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening, it's nice to have you one more time. On this beautiful day, we have another one, which is Tuesday. It's our second class of this week. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, 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 everybody. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes or no? Let me check. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um. Let me show you what's gonna be today's class about. Okay. Uh, this is going to be today's class. Uh, we're going to have section number four. And we're working with this thing, which is called Around the Campfire. That is the uh, title for today. We're going to work with vocabulary, pretty much, and a little bit of the grammar that we have for this um, section. This is going to be class number 10. And welcome again. It's nice to have you one more time. We're going to have your... We're gonna start with a short reading, okay, here. I want you to look at the picture, please. Thank you. Thank you, so let's begin with you, Giovanni. Welcome, good evening, nice to have you. How are you? I'm pretty well, teacher, thank you so Sounds much for good. Thank you. Um, do me a favor, please describe the picture, thank you. Oh, okay. Um. Well, I'm able to see that um, there are uh, four girls. Uh, probably they're telling scary stories. Cause I can see that the <laughs> the flashlight is in front of her one of the face of her. At the meantime, I'm able to see that probably they are at a at the room. Um. It's it's at night, and. The girl that did telling the story, she looks like really um encouraged about the story. By the rest, I'm able to see that they are, looks really scary about it. You're mute. If if you're saying something, you're mute. Jesus Christ! Thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah. Oops. Okay, no worries. I did it again, right? Like, oops, ah, uh, dead. Okay, we're gonna have this short information here on the screen, as you may see. For that one, we're gonna have Carla Selena. Hello, good evening, welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Do me a favor, read this information here in light blue. Thank you. Okay. North American and your telling stories. Especially Spocky, it stories about scary and mysterious things. The Spocky stories are popular around the campfire at sleep, sleep, sleep lover, sleep over, and during the fall and winter months, especially nearly Halloween. People tell and listen to this story as a way of dealing with their fears or the unknown. It's also fun to experience the thrill of fears while knowing that you are really safe. Thank you so much. We have a sleepover. A sleepover. Thank you so much. Okay, thank okay. you. Do you know what is, what is a sleepover, Selena? I don't have an idea. A <laughs> uh, sleepover. Okay. Don't worry. Marlene will help you. Marlene, do you have an idea what is a sleepover? A sleepover? No, teacher. Okay. Um, Sara, do you know what is a sleepover? Como pijamada. Exactly, very good, you got it, that is correct. A sleepover is that thing, right? I don't know if here in El Salvador that's very popular, but in the US it looks like it is, yeah? So uh, that is like um, very popular. popular. 
Yes, exactly mm. right. Here in El Salvador, we don't know. I think maybe because we don't celebrate Halloween, right? Yeah, we don't ce we don't celebrate Halloween. Um, because some people are Christian here, like most of us. Uh, well, I'm not including myself. Yes, I'm I'm, I'm stay away of that one. Uh, but some people are like uh, let's say religious, right? They they like believe in in God, and that's why they don't they don't do that. Yeah. So um. So we're gonna have these questions. Jenny, hello, Jenny. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Uh, what is this reading about? This one here, the one that Selena uh, read. Tell me, what is this thing about? Mm, it's about the um, flip over and in the in lo que se hace en las llamadas um, uh, telling stories um, I don't know too sure I can speak because now that you're mentioning I... stories what is the meaning of spooky spooky, spooky. stories yeah. That is, I was watching a movie uh, about a ghost. The oh. movie was, oh, what was the name? Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. There was some name with like from, from, from a movie. Horror stories, oh. spooky, escalofriante. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Like mm -hmm. these kind of spooky stories. Do you like these kind of stories, uh, Jenny? Yes, I know the story about my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, the people about, uh, say the people say um one monkey. In <laughs> uh, <laughs> um so, in um out my house. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Uh, uh, um. Selva. And the, my my neighbor say in the night I uh, one monkey uh, jumping in the in the ceiling. <laughs> That's scary. That's scary. Crazy. <laughs> so I hear about the cipitillo, la ciguanaba, a little mm. bit, right? So, but nothing like that. La ciguanaba is. It's little um in comparison with the monkey. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that. That's very nice. Yes, and that's somehow scary, right? Be careful. Yes, be careful with that. Oh my gosh. Halloween. What is Halloween? Any idea, um, Marlene? What is this? thing Halloween. 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 Mm -hmm. What is, is that? Is when people um the the witches <laughs> <laughs> like the teacher say <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> people wear customs right people wear customs like uh i don't know witches uh superheroes as well now what is very popular the last yes. teacher the last teacher <laughs> with customers to listen again <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's like that thing. Like, um, people get afraid, right? When they like, uh, get get dressed with different kind of like I don't know costumes, like it's care from the scary movies. You know what I mean? We have scary movies yeah. nowadays, and some of them are pretty much. But yeah. teacher, I think that this this thing is most popular in United States. Yes. 
Yes. Because in, like in El Salvador, much... I don't know. I didn't see anything. No, no. Here in El Salvador, it's not very popular. But in the U.S., they don't give a penny about, uh, I don't know, religions. They just celebrate. And that's why they celebrate this Halloween. Like, yeah, they throw a big party. I mean, for children, this is a huge day. Yes. And uh, what is your favorite movie uh, that comes from Halloween? As you may know, in Halloween, well, during Halloween, right, we have a bunch of movies yeah, on, on different let's say, channels. Well, nowadays, we don't have that one, but we have Netflix and, and a bunch of stuff like that. But uh, I remember back in the days, there were like a bunch of movies. Uh, yeah. I remember to... when I when it's Halloween, I remember seeing the, the Jason movie. Exactly. Exactly. Jeeper Creeper, right? That is another yeah, one. Um, Freddy. Okay. Yes, I think Jason is another one. Uh, yes. The Exorcism as well is another one, a very popular yeah, movie. Things. Yeah, the, and, and those are somehow scary, right? Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Question for you, Sara. Okay. Hello, Sara. Are you here, Sara? Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Do you enjoy telling or and listening to stories? Um, no. Oh, not like. really. Why? <laughs> yeah. uh, because that, that uh, scares me and when I want to sleep and I hear, hear some kind of noise, I oh. think about the, um, <laughs> the, <laughs> about the story, right? I don't oh, but, like that. Yes, that's true, right? Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about the story that Jenny was saying about the monkey. So, and and like that thing I'm like in my head right now. Yeah, thinking about it. Oh, I hope that I forget. I forget that. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Okay, very good. What about here in El Salvador? Where are those uh, stories or events that are very popular here in our country? <laughs> what is the story that you remember that somebody like told you from from the past. Now what is I think is not popular anymore, but back in the days they used to tell you stories about uh, I don't know about for example in my case about La Ciguanaba. Yeah, when I was little, yeah um well not not like like little right but when I was young um I used to hear those stories. Yeah. What about you? Um, what are those stories that you know that are very popular here in El Salvador? Any idea? El Cadejo. Oh, El Cadejo. Oh, that is a good one. Yes. What is El Cadejo about? Because I heard like, it is like about a big dog. I don't know if you have a, a big different dog, version. white, a white big dog and uh, black. Oh, big and what dog. is the difference between the white dog and the black dog? Um, the white dog uh, care the good people, and the black dog, uh, castiga. ¿Cómo se dice castiga? So the the like, the the white one is related to like good people, and um the black one is related to bad people, like the devil. Mm -hmm. oh, that's but so. I think so the, I'm, the word I'm, is Spanish. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. So I, I'm out of that one. The only one I maybe I can get is the black one. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that's not good. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. That's very nice of you. We're gonna carry on with a little bit of this vocabulary that goes related to this thing, campfire. Let's take a look of this vocabulary here. We have freaked out, surprise. So here we have some adjectives let's say right that describes the picture yes so look at this picture it's a surprise it's like when you get the bills right yeah you get bills from tigo from del sur and then you get <laughs> you get a big number there yes a big like 120 dollars and that's huge so we have freaked out a surprise and freaked out here yes what about these pictures here in number two 
uh, what is this one? What is this picture about? Mysterious, mysterious situation. situation. Like a, a mysterious situation, right? Very yes, good. Yes, and what yes. about this picture here? A scary, a scary situation. situation. Uh, yes, like I don't know if you if you like agree with me, but when something like this happens, the body reacts. Yeah, when in this one, a scary situation. What we think is like. I run. That's what I do, right? Run for it, and that's what I do. Yeah? Um, yeah, sounds pretty good. What about these pictures here? <laughs> I love this one. Uh -huh. What is this thing? We have a scream. I'm sorry, uh -huh. a scream. Uh -huh. And a hood. Hood. A hood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the baby is, is screaming. Oh, okay. Okay, so the baby screams, right? Very good. Okay. Uh-huh. And this this animal here, is uh, this bird is difficult to pronounce. How do you pronounce this one, Selena? Thank you. What is the name of this animal? Hello. Excuse me. Boo? Oh, uh, this is a boo, right? In Spanish, yes, it's a boo. Yes. Uh, let me see. So let me check out. Okay. Nice and clear. Yes. Marlene. What is the name of this bird, Marlene? Owl, it's owl, right? Very good. Owl. 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 This is one of the most difficult to pronounce. Owl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, a hood goes with the baby or with this owl? The owl. Exactly right. What is a hood? Any idea? A hood is, is the sound the that side. this animal does. You see? Yeah, at night, it sounds like a hood. This is the noise this animal does at night. I think that's at, at night they work, right? Not during the day. Thank you. Olga. Hello, Olga. We have number four. Tell me. Hello. Which picture is the farm? Tell me. Oh. Mm. Excuse me? Camping. Oh, okay. So this one is, what is this thing? Mm, tienda, pero no sé cómo se dice. Tienda. Yeah, here we have two options. We have a farm and a campground. So which one is this one? A farm or a campground? Camp. Campground. Exactly, right? And this one is a farm. Okay. What kind of animals we can find in a farm, Olga? Can you teacher? What kind of animals we can find in a farm? Ah, cows. Cows. Mm -hmm. uh, horse. Horse. Okay. What else? Hen. 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 Very good. What else? Chicken. Oh, chicken and as well. Thank you. It's quite the dog. same. Excuse me? Dog. A dog, maybe. Mm. A duck. Yes, a duck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only yes. that. Thank you so much. Right. Do you like camping, Olga? Yes, teacher. I oh, like. how often do you do that? Uh, <laughs> mm, three years ago, maybe. Okay, okay. How often is Ketanga Menudo, right? How often do you do that? Mm, 
no son más ricos. Oh, no las... so much. Like, like three yes. times a year, like, or once or twice a year. Mm. My last, uh, my last camping is about three years ago. Maybe. Was three years ago? Oh, yes, that's that's long time. Yes. Yes, it's was, a long time. Yeah. I hope that you can have the chance to do it like in November or December. Okay, I hope so. Thank you so yes. much for sharing that. That's very nice. Okay. Okay, dokie. Look at the picture, please. And we have two options here. Check what you think is happening in each of the following situations. We have three pictures here. And then we have two options. Number one is she has just taken a shower. She has just gone on a hike. Then we have another picture here in the middle where it says she's going to take to make dinner, sorry, and she's going to tell a story. And then we have this gentleman here, like Toretto, right? He is getting the girls. Uh, he is telling a spooky story. Okay, so which light is the correct option? Mm -hmm. In picture number one, what do you think is going, uh, is, is happening in picture number one? She, she has just gone on a hike. Okay, very good. What about the picture number two, which is in the middle? She is going, to, going to, to tell a story. Tell a story. Okie dokie. And what about the uh, last one? He's bringing the girl. He is telling a spooky story. Oh, a spooky story. Okay. Spooky story. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to play the video so you can listen and watch. And then you can say, oh, so this one is right. Yes, based on your answers that you came in. So I need you to listen. Just let me check audio just to be clear. Yeah, everything is awesome. So let's listen and watch. Ya pero un poquito más, ¿sí crees? Sí. Ya, ya no se traba tanto. Como le hacía. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. 
he walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers and they're in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okay, that's a winner Oscar is in, right? Thank you so much. We're going to have a little bit of this thing, which is check true and false, okay? Let's begin with this one. Okay, so uh, number one, Ellen heard the story at the restaurant. That is true or false? Anybody? False. That is false. That is right. Yes. It is false. That's very good. False. False. Just give me a minute. Okay. What about the number two? Molly doesn't like scary stories. True or false? Mm -hmm. True. That is true, right? Exactly. So that is true, right? Very good. What about the number three? True or false? The campground, campground used to be a farm. Hmm. Makes sense. False. That is true or false? Lino? Mm -hmm. That is true or false? For me, it's false. Um, the oh, actually, yeah. I yeah, guess it's farm. true. Yeah, I think that is true. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. I heard that is true. Yes. And what about the number four? Ted. My. Oh, that that last name is is difficult to pronounce. How do you pronounce that last name? Mark Shane. Mark Shane. Oh, my. My Shane. Oh my gosh, I don't remember exactly. Okay. Die in the fire. <laughs> that is true or false? False again. That That's false. Exactly. That's false, right? Yeah, that's false. Very good. <laughs> okay. We, 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 yeah. That's a day off. That's a day off. Okay. Let's carry on. Uh, we're going to complete this information. Okay, this is complete sentences, and then we're going to compare, right? Ellen, Ellen, I'm sorry, overheard a woman telling these stories to her daughter. 
Vanessa tells Molly not to be a. Then we have Mr. Machines. I don't know if it's pronunciation. Inherit the farm from a. When Machine walked down the street, they always. Okay. Every evening, Mr. Machine brought his wife. Mr. Machine's wife was named. And the last one is the girls get frightened when. Okay, so I will play the audio, well, the video one more time so you can take a look for the answers of these uh, sentences. The idea is that we can complete the sentence with the vocabulary that is needed in the blank space. Okay, so all of them, they're just missing a, like a word. And what you need to write is like that one. Okay, uh, but before we get into that, I need to take the attempts. Give me a minute, please, so I can have your names. And please, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Just give me a minute. Okay. On Tuesday. Okay. No. Okay, here we go. We're going to have Blanca Maria Gonzalez Uria. Present. Thank you and welcome. Good evening. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Noki Isen. Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you one more time. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. It's nice to have you again. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Are you still, uh, let me see, Karen. Uh, uh, are you here, Karen? Yes. Um, Karen, Karen, I don't see Karen. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. So she is in here. What about Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman? Your teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Nice to have you. Uh, Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Uh, Marlene Elizabeth Paye Barahona. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Neftali Antonio Mejia uh, Mejia Miranda. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. No, he isn't. Olga Marlene Gomez Rios. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Perfect. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Eh, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Eh, Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much, everybody. So one more time. Okay, so let me check the chat because sometimes I, I have Oscar. Thank you, Oscar, for letting me know. Uh, Wendy, also thank you. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Okay, Michelle. Teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. That's but great. I have a problem with my computer. Oh, I that's a, have a I... problem with my computer, and so I didn't listen when you... When do you say my name? Oh, what's your name? I'm sorry. Neftali Mejia. Ahorita Neftali, just give me a minute. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. I got you here. Okay, and the other one is Edgardo. Edgardo, no. Okay. One more time, I will I will let to show you the sentences so you can take a look at the sentence 
And here we need to have the information. So the vocabulary that is missing here, right? So uh, be ready at home so you can take notes of the vocabulary. Also, if you want, you can take a screenshot. Take a screenshot so you can save the information and you can check this one when you when you hear the information from the video, okay? So I will play the video here again so you can have this information, okay? Let's listen and complete. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Oh, don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well. This all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, Everybody loved them, and they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes, and as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night.
Okay. So that was the video where we need to use like the information from there to like have it here. Okay, so machine. That is the name of that is the pronunciation of this one, machines. Okay, what about number two? What is the vocabulary that we need here? Vanessa tells Molly not to be a A chicken. And, and a chicken? Okay, very good. Chicken. Thank you. Okay. Number three. The McShames inherit the farm from a relative. Excuse me, Sarah. Sarah. Uh-huh. From a Any, I'm sorry, I didn't hear Sarah. She was saying something, but I didn't get that. Uh huh. She said uh, a relative. Sorry, but, relative. Oh, or... perfect. <laughs> yes, relative. Like a relative. Yes, a relative. Very good. When the Mark James walk down the street, they always always say the name. Oh, yes, very good. Yes, held. Right. Yes, held hands, right? It's like they were so into that, that they used to have hands. Thank you. What about number five? This one is difficult. Mm -hmm. Every morning, Mr. McShane brought his wife. Flowers. Oh, very good. Flowers. Everybody loves flowers, right? Thank you. And the machine's wife was named. I guess Dallin. Oh, perfect. Dolly. Okie dokie. Thank you. And the number seven, the girls get frightened when. <laughs> As said, machine. Ted Machines, very good. ¿Y cómo se le llama a esa profesión o occupation? Eh, um, ranger. Exactly, right. Specifically, if we want to be more specifically eh, about it. Forest, forest. I don't yes. know. <laughs> oh, that's correct. Like forest ranger or um, like forest a ranger. park ranger. Yes, that's good as well. Ted McShane, right? This is a very nice last name, Mark Shane. Okay, thank you. Yes. When Ted Machine arrives, I think it's like yeah, like that one. Okay, very good. Yes, good story. Okay, we're gonna have another one. Let's continue. Uh, here we have these uh true and false, please. Tell me, number one, Vanessa likes scary stories. That is true or false? False. False. Mm. I think Vanessa, yep, but her friend. Yes, no. yeah, exactly, exactly. Vanessa, yes, that is true. That is true. The man in this story was a farmer. That is true or false? False. Oh, Mr. McChain. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, exactly right. It was a far he was a farmer. Thank you. The fire started because of a hot and dry summer. That is true or false? Oh. Hmm. It's I, true. That is true. That is true. That is true. And number four, the park ranger wanted to scare the girls. That is true or false? False. That's false. That is correct. Thank you. Vanessa is embarrassed that they were so easily frightened. True or false? Uh-huh. True or false? True. That is true, right? That is true. 
And the last one, which is number six, the ranger is the same person from the story. That is true or false? <laughs> true. Uh huh. Kind, I think. I <laughs> true. Absolutely maybe, not. Maybe. Right? That is false. Absolutely false. not. That's something else. Yeah, that was that's false. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. This was about this thing, which is camping, right? So as you may know, we can have spooky stories when we go to one of these places or when you get alone, let's say, uh, when you meet with your friends like at the beach, right? In around a camp, uh, like, I'm sorry, around a fire. Sometimes we can do uh, say these kind of stories. Uh, where is Sara? Hello, Sara. Can you help me describe in these pictures, please? What do you see here? Uh, in the first one is uh, I think it's Dino stars. I, I don't know the pronunciation. It's and uh, in, in the water or in a river, and the other one is a uh, tiger. I think it's a tiger. Maybe he wants to he wants to eat. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. We're gonna find out this information about um do you believe these things, right? Uh these stories. We have alien big cats. This is from England and the log nest monster. This is from Scotland. What are we going to do? We're going to read the descriptions of these creatures. And then uh, we're going to answer the questions. Do you believe they ever existed? Or do you think they exist now? Or uh, And then we're going to have these short dialogues. Okay. So for this one, we're going to have, let me see. Michelle Beatriz. Hello, Michelle. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Michelle. Yeah, I'm fine, Peter. Oh, that's good. Please read the descriptions about these pictures, please. Thank you. Only the first one. Oh, both of them, please. Thank you. Excuse me, Michelle. You need to read both of them, please. This one's here and this one here. Sorry, teacher. Some people believe that large will cut such as panthers and leopards exist in some areas of the English control sites. Call it alien because they are for gain, not extraterrestrial none has ever been captured photos and videos have never been clear and now to prove their existence yet there have been as many as 2000 six things in a single single year the launch nest monster is colon this character was fear, fierce, seen, fierce seen in 565. 565 BCE. And sightings are still reported every year. Some people believe that it is a dinosaur, an eel, or a type of quail. Many photos of Nisi have been taken, but some have turned out to be fakes and others are too dark or blurry to really show the capture. Thank you so much, okay? Now, uh, we have this question for you, Karen Yvette Villanueva. Do you believe they ever existed? Karen Yvette? 
the monster nest. I don't know. I don't believe it's only the history. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Maria Santos Lopez? What do you think about? Do you believe they ever existed? Maria Santos Lopez? No? Okay, let me work with somebody else. What about you, Blanca? What is your opinion about? Do you believe they ever existed? Mm, I think no, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. Very good. What about you, Janet Carolina Rivera? What's your opinion about? Do you believe they ever existed? Hello, Janet. No. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Let me show you something more before we get. Uh, give me a minute, please. Uh, yesterday, as you may know. <gasps> Jesus. What is that thing? No, it's here. It's here. Okay, thank you so much. Here we go. Let me show you something about yesterday's class. We were working with this thing that is called verbs. We're going to keep working on this one. Tiger cub found in a luggage. Okay. Olga, do you understand the title of this thing? Tiger cub found in a luggage. Do you understand this one? Olga, Arleni, Gomez? Hello, teacher. No? Okay. Well, look at the picture. This is the answer, right? Yes. This is a mm -hmm. tiger cub. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Found. What is the meaning of found, Olga? Encontrar. Exactly. But is this in present or in past? In present. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. It is in past. Found, it isn't. What is the present tense of the verb found? Fine. Fine, that is correct. Very good. In a luggage. You know what is a luggage? No, teacher. I don't Selena, know. do you know what is a luggage? A luggage? I'm sorry. Or did you? What is a luggage? What is this thing? A luggage. What is a luggage for? Equipaje. Excuse me? Equipaje. Exactly, right? Exactly, right? Some people, when they travel, they try to, like, I don't know, get pets through, uh, I don't know, airports. And that's that's not good, right? Yes. We have some verbs here. Are you them, please, um, Jenny, to read these verbs? Thank you. Go ahead. Become... Behaving, checking in, decide, decide, interest, add, add, opening, opening, show it, sleeping. You just be careful with eat the ending regular verse pronunciation. Remember that we have three. We have. I can because my mouth. Like, for example, decided, entered, had, happened, showed. D, d. Okay, just be careful with that pronunciation, though. Very good. So, we're going to use these verbs to complete the conversation. A woman was. Mm -hmm. What is next? What is the verb that goes here? Have. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Present continuous or simple past? Sleeping. Behave, behaving. Oh, yes, you got it. Behave. Oh, Jesus. Okay, behaving. That's good. 
Yes, a woman was behaving strangely when she checking checking no, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Sleeping. Excuse me? It can't become. No, I'm sorry. Bangkok Airport. So you need to like. Uh huh. Anybody else? Entered. Oh, beautiful. Right. You, know, you got it. Entered. Entered. Very good. When you entered uh, the Bangkok airport while she was open. For an overseas okay. flight. Um, Checking in. Excuse me? Sleeping while she was shaking me. Oh, checking me. Very good. That's one. Thank you so much. Checking. Checking in. Yes. So, checking in. That is correct. Uh, while well, she was checking in for an hour, she's fly. She. Hat. Hat. Oh, perfect. Simple pass. Had difficulty with a very large pack. The check-in clerk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is on how difficult. Became. Mm -hmm. Show show it. No, show I'm it. sorry. Any idea? Simple past or present continuous? Or present or, or past continuous, I'm sorry. I don't know if became. Became. That's speaking. beautiful. Very good. Became. Became um suspicious and. And you put a. The, the X rays. Oh. Decide. Oh, decided. Very good. Decided. And decided to x ray the back. The x ray showed. showed. Very good. Showed. Very good. Showed. Okay. Showed. Um, an image that looked like an animal. The airport staff. <gasps> Jesus. Open. Open, right. Very good. Look at this one. Open. Like Dora the Spirit, right? Open. Ha, ladder. Okay, thank you. The back. They saw the baby tiger was... It's sleeping. Sleeping. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. Right? No, ya no está conectado, niña. Exactly. <laughs> it's like you in a few minutes, right? You in a few minutes. You're going to be sleeping. <laughs> Under lugs of toy tigers, right? Oh, thank you so much. Please, um, Sarah, read this information about tiger car found in a luggage. Please yeah. go ahead. A woman was behaving strangely when she entered the Baku airport. While she was checking in for an overseas flight, she had difficulty with a very large bag. The check in clerk became suspicious and decided to x ray the back. The x ray showed an image that looked like an animal. When airport staff opened the back, they saw that a, a baby tiger was sleeping under a lot, lot of boy tigers. The tiger was taken to a rescue center for a wildlife. And the woman was arrested. Yes, thank you so much for reading that. Okay, 
uh, sleeping. The tiger was sleeping. Okay, so uh, I really would like to, uh, uh, let me see. Yes, I'm sorry. The time is over. Okay, so I wish you a uh, good night. Yes, rest and be ready tomorrow. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you for everything.